Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I thought I would share with you five of my most worn items currently and five items which I'm most looking forward to wearing. So for any of you that are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I've also linked my Instagram down below. And if you do follow me on Instagram, you may already know loads. You may already know the five items I'm going to be talking about, but I thought I'd share them with you anyways. I haven't reapplied my makeup, which is, sometimes, which is something I usually do before I film, but I just can't really be bothered. And also, my lips are so sore from the cold. But let's look past that and let's start with my five favourite. I also think this might answer a lot of questions that I get really, really regularly. So my first most worn item is the most worn item over the last kind of like three months. I really didn't think I would love it. Um, I actually when I actually when it arrived, I didn't think I was going to keep it, but I'm so glad I did. And it's this huge kind of polar bear coat from I guess it's called a teddy coat, but my family, my boyfriend and I, we call it my polar bear coat. Um, and it's from New Look, it was like £49 or something, it was pretty affordable. And it's just the best. Initially I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it because it's quite a light colour and I guess it's winter, but at the moment I don't really wear black that much. Not as much as I used to anyway. Um, and it's just really, really warm, it's really versatile. I just love it. It's seen better days now. I feel like it did get quite dirty because obviously I wore it loads and it's cream coloured, but I love it so much. I wore it today. I wore it, did I wear it yesterday? Yeah, I wore it yesterday. I wear it basically every day. It's just great. I get lots of compliments. I actually once went into New Look and the person in there was like, excuse me, where's your coat from? And um, I, I once went to buy a coffee and the lady in the coffee shop was like, sorry, can you look inside of your coat and tell me the code? Because I really want to order it. So I get loads and loads of compliments on it. I love it and if you are after a winter coat, although I feel like winter's almost over, so you're probably not, but if you are, 100% I cannot recommend a teddy coat enough. I also really like the colour because um, I feel like black is such a normal dark colour to wear in winter, so this cream colour was so much nicer to wear. Then on to jeans, and I love jeans. I feel like what jeans are you wearing is my number one most asked question. So I thought I would answer that, answer that for you. Although um, this is counting as one category of my favourite things. My number one most worn jeans are undoubtedly my ASOS Farley jeans in the colour Haley, Harley, one of the two. I will link them down below. I really like them. I don't think they're perfect, but they are nice. My most worn black jeans are my Topshop Joni jeans. Um, I don't even know where those are at the moment because they really need to be replaced. I love them, but they fade so, so bad. I really don't wash my black jeans very often because they fade. Um, and mine are super duper, duper faded. And I have had them for a while, but I don't wear them that much. They're super high-waisted. They're super tight. I love them. I really do, I highly recommend them, especially if you've got quite a small waist, but you're quite curvy everywhere else. They're fab, and I've recommended them to loads and loads of people, and everyone has loved them, but everyone has said that they do fade very easily. So just bear that in mind. They're not the cheapest, but they're not the most expensive either. Um, I got the more premium pair of a, of Topshop Joni jeans, which were the £45 ones. I don't think I'm going to get those next time, though. I'm going to try them on. I don't know, we'll see. I haven't tried on the cheap pair, so I don't know what those are like. Then my newest pair of jeans are these, which are also ASOS Farley's. I'll link these down below. These were just on sale, so I bought them. They're not like my favorite jeans ever, but they are they are nice, and I've worn them loads, because I really like the rips. And then today, I just started wearing a new pair of jeans. I'm gonna link these down below. These obviously aren't a favorite. Um, they're from ASOS. I don't know what they're called. They're 25 pounds. They're quite nice. They're not currently a favorite yet, but they may be, keep you updated on how I like my new jeans. Next have been my Vans. They're fairly dirty, I can't lie. I feel like I really need to just sit down and give all my shoes a very good clean. That might be my task for this evening. But I have loved these, and don't get me wrong, they are not practical for the current weather. We've had somewhat of a mild winter. I know some of you are gonna disagree, but I think we have, and to be fair, I travel a lot by car, but I have loved my Vans so, so much. They're super comfortable. I think they might be my most comfortable pair of shoes 
ever. And they are quite flat, which I don't typically really like, but I have really loved wearing these. They're slightly different to most people's vans. I don't know how, but they are. I'm going to link to these ones down below if I can find them. But I have loved these. They kind of go with everything. They're not quite as chunky as most trainers. I just love them. And um, I can't believe it took me so long to buy a pair. Then um, I have been loving ASOS jewellery generally, but like this little ring is one of their gold plated ones, um, which quality isn't um, amazing, but it's okay. But the one item I have really loved, and I'm really trying to get hold of another one of these, so actually I'm really sorry because I know this is out of stock, but I'm trying to buy another two or three of them because I really do like it, and it's just this like layered rope necklace i don't know what they call it it has got like a religious symbol on it which i'm not crazy about but i'm not like overly bothered by it yeah i love this necklace it was like eight pounds get so many compliments it on it i think some people think it's real gold and when i'm having conversations especially with like older people more so like portuguese because i feel like this is a very um like mediterranean-y um, necklace. People just stare at me. My mum said that this is very like old fashioned but I really love it. I think it's so nice. It's so cool. I love how it's like quite chunky but not like stupid. I don't know. It's like it's chunky enough without being like a statement necklace. I just love it. It's my fave and I am hunt trying to hunt down another one or two. I think it was only eight pounds it wasn't expensive it did tarnish a little bit then my most worn shirt is actually quite new but I have worn it an embarrassingly an embarrassing amount of times considering it's so new I think I've had it for like two weeks and I've worn it five times not around the same people but I really do think I've worn this five times um but I just love it so much it's from warehouse and it's just a black and white cheetah or leopard print shirt um, i think the reason i love it so much is because i love leopard print as a whole but i think the black and white makes it extra wearable it's just it's just so nice it's like the perfect material i'm just so in love with it it's all it was also pretty affordable as well um, i think you can really dress it up dress it down i think i'm gonna wear this from, from now in winter all the way through to summer um i can imagine this with like a nice pair of ripped denim shorts and now i wear it with like a smart pair of trousers or a ripped pair of trousers i just wear this so much i absolutely love it i am waiting for a never fully dressed leopard blouse which is like more leopard um cheetah colors and um, which i'm really excited i'm so excited about it. i've wanted it for ages um but it hasn't arrived they're both leopard print shirts but they're still quite different and i'm just so excited for both of them and i think both of them look quite expensive um, and I think that's quite tricky with leopard print because actually I have another one from ASOS which I really regret buying. I think I've worn it like once and it's just not quite right and these two in my opinion are just perfect. On to five new bits which I'm really excited to wear. I have worn all of these actually but only once. I'm so excited to wear them more. The first thing is my new bag from Aurora. Um, I'm going to link the brand down below but... I was after a really nice, affordable leather handbag that I just liked. I know everyone has a Gucci bag and I'm not going to lie, I am tempted by a Gucci bag because every blogger has a Gucci bag, but I don't want a Gucci bag and I hate that I feel like I'm pressured into buying one and I don't want one, so I'm not going to get one. But I, I just wanted a nice bag um, and I spotted this one which is quite similar to like a YSL camera bag and this is called the um, Aurora camera bag and it was really really affordable full disclosure I was sent this I met with a PR and then I went onto the brand website and I genuinely loved everything well not everything but m almost everything I got sent a few things and I'm just genuinely so excited to wear it all I just feel like I've discovered a really lovely lovely brand that I really wanted to share with you guys because it's good quality pieces but affordable and I think that's so nice you're not paying super premium prices for a name and I just like that I really like that you can get them personalized the personalization isn't anything extra which is really nice over the next couple of weeks on my Instagram and on here I'm sure I'll show you a few other pieces I have from Aurora but the first piece and the piece I've been super excited about has been this piece these are 45 pounds which is pretty affordable for a leather handbag which has been personalized I went for this kind of burgundy shade which I really like 
but potentially in the summer I will probably get one of the other colours. I wasn't sure how big it was going to be, but it is quite small. But it fits everything I need. I have an iPhone 8 Plus. The Plus does fit in here, which is great. And just overall, I love this bag. I've had so many compliments on it already. It's just a crossbody bag. And I just think the personalisation part really finished the bag off for me. And yeah, I just, I'm just so happy that I've discovered this brand and I can share it with you guys. And I have so many more things to share with you from the brand. I like have something in here that I want to share with you. But I'm going to wait because I think I'm going to write a blog post about it. Love, love, love this bag. Now on to two pairs of shoes which I really like. And the thing is with shoes and bags, I don't typically set out to buy them. My rule is if I see a bag or a pair of shoes that I love, I just buy them. Um, even if they were quite expensive, I think I would just go for it. The reason I don't have a Gucci handbag is because I haven't found one that I love and I feel like I would just be following the crowd. Had I found one that I really, 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 really liked, I would just buy it. And the same kind of goes with shoes. Still, I don't typically spend loads of money on shoes or bags. Whenever I buy a new pair of shoes or a new bag, it's typically because I really, really, really liked it. So my new pair of shoes, I really, really like. Again, this was from a sponsored post, but I love them. They are from Faith, which... I think used to be a brand that was quite easily available, but now I got these off Debenhams. And I got the, these pair which are like a, I don't know what colour to call this, a taupe? A taupe. Um, just beautiful on the foot, I think. Really nice height. I like this part of the shoe. I think it makes it just really beautiful. It's quite low on the side. Just a stunning pair of shoes and they are really comfortable. They're pretty affordable. They're about the £40 mark. They're £39, so they're pretty affordable and I just love them they're really comfortable I love a good nude pair of shoes but these aren't like a normal nude they're a taupe but they're still quite nudie so they kind of still give you that long leg look and I just love them and then my second pair um I don't think are quite as wearable I think those are so wearable but these aren't quite as wearable but they're just so beautiful they have like a little knot detailing on the front and then they've got a heart on the back which is just perfect for February since it's Valentine's Day but I just love them and these are 45, 49? They are 49 pounds, so they're a bit more expensive. But they're so pretty and they're like a classic black shoe with just like a pop of fun. So I'm very excited about these as well. They were quite comfortable. As far as like strappy heels go, they were super comfortable. But then if you follow me anyway, you, you'll know that I'm super excited about my new Primark earrings. I actually haven't worn these um, yet. I feel like I'm still thinking about how I want to wear them. I don't know, in my head they're like more summery out, they're more summery pieces. But um, I definitely think that you can wear these in winter. I'm super excited about these. They're £3. They are... From Primark, they come in loads of colours. The red's probably my favourite. My red is still damaged. I don't know what I'm going to do about it yet. I think for £3, you need to pick these up. And then the final thing I want to talk about is my new jacket, which again, I was a little bit unsure about, but I think I'm going to get loads of wear out of it because I love a good biker jacket and my favourite colour is red at the moment, I'm sure. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that. And so I just picked up this leather esque, this leather look jacket from New Look. It was pretty affordable. Um, it was, oh, it was really affordable. It was twenty nine ninety nine. I was like ooming and ahhing as to whether I should keep it because it's so in your face. But I got 20% off that. So actually I paid like £24 for this, which I think is fab. That's such a good price. I'm not saying it looks like the most expensive jacket ever, but I really like it. I'm really excited to wear it. It also has silver hardware, so it's not perfect, but I'm very excited about it. I think I'll wear this loads. It's still slightly too cold for this now, but I'm off to Barcelona tomorrow morning, so I'm taking this with me, I think. And I'm sure within the next couple of months it'll be warm enough and I'll be wearing this through to summer, which I'm so excited about. But that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit different. I, Like I said, I'm off to Barcelona in the morning, so... Um, and I actually will be... I have already been there for two days, I think, once this video is live. If you want to follow me on Instagram and follow my Insta stories, my Instagram is down below. But lots of videos coming up. I am vlogging in Barcelona. I am going to give it a good go because I feel like my vlogs aren't as good as I want them to be. Um, but we'll talk about that at another time. Like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know if you'd like to see this become a more regular thing. And I shall see you all very soon. Bye.